General Ayemi entered into Jerusalem in October or November 1917 and declared today the Crusades have ended. In other words, a modern secular Britain was still pursuing a holy war launched by a Pope, a Roman Catholic Pope in Rome. What is it that explains? Is this an occurrence that is happening by accident? And then after that, Britain issued the Balfour Declaration. That is the intention of the British government to work for the establishment of a Jewish national home in the Holy Land. Is this by accident? And then after that, Britain becomes the mandate power controlling the Holy Land. And during that time, between 1918 and 1948, for 30 years, the Jews are allowed to return to the Holy Land. Not Banu Israel. Banu Israel are still in Yemen, and in Iraq, and in Iran, and in Morocco. No, 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 these are white people who become Jews. They have no genetic links at all with Arabs. They're not cousins of the Arabs. They're not from Ishaq alayhi salam. And the Arabs are from Ismail alayhi salam. And so genetically linked as cousins. No. These European people have no genetic links whatsoever with Banu Israel, but they're Jews. And when in 1948 a state of Israel was born in the Holy Land and the Jews now recover Jerusalem as their own. Is this happening by accident? And then from 1948 to this day, first of all it was Britain who supported and protected the state of Israel. And then the United States of America took over. And Israel grows and grows and grows in strength. Until Israel today is a superpower. Is this happening by accident? Shall we simply eat roti chanai and go home and go to sleep? Is that what Allah gave us a rational faculty for? Or is there some explanation for it? And we say that there is an explanation. Not only are these events occurring in the Holy Land, but they could not have occurred unless Europe had experienced a strange, a mysterious scientific and technological revolution that was absolutely unique in human history. Nothing to compare with it. One people deliver to the world and are continuing to deliver to the world this mysterious scientific and technological revolution which gives them a power that none can rival. Is this happening by accident? And then they apply that power to military technology and they attack at the point of a sword and they occupy and they colonize the rest of the world and they destroy the Khilafah oh but the Khilafah is a part of Islam is this happening by accident? and they do not decolonize until they have done some work they take the money that Allah gave to us the money that is the sunnah, sunnah money, the gold and silver coins, the dinar and dirham. They take it out of the market. They establish an international monetary fund. And they make it in that fund prohibited for anybody to use gold and silver as money. Not even Dr. Mahathir knew that. And they replace it with this bogus this fraudulent 
and this utterly haram paper currency is this happening by accident and the paper money functions as a vehicle for the massive exploitation of the wealth of the masses and so part of the world now becomes fantastically wealthy and the rest of the world growing poorer and poorer is this happening by accident who are those who are growing wealthy like you know little Israel around the corner there Singapore those that are growing wealthy are those who support the state of Israel whether they do it openly as Singapore or they do it secretly as Saudi Arabia they are the supporters of Israel and so they are on the gravy trade they live well they are growing more and more wealthy and who are those who are growing poorer and poorer those in whose hearts there is faith in Allah sincere faith in Allah those who will never bow their head to oppression like Indonesia like Bangladesh like Pakistan like Egypt like the Turkish countryside not the Turkish cities they grow poorer and poorer and poorer is this happening by accident and not only do they give us this revolution in the world of finance but the revolution also in the market we never had riba we used to have a few money lenders lending money on interest and people despise them and they give to us a banking system and that banking system now lends money on interest and not only lending on interest in order to grow wealthy at the expense of others but no when you read John Perkins book Confessions of an Economic Hitman you know that sometimes they lend you money on interest to enslave you even a schoolboy knows that now are these things happening by accident there's also a revolution in our social life the Prophet said Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam the time would come when women would be dressed and yet be naked has that come today is it happening by accident well then what is the explanation for these mysterious events which are unfolding in the world today and therefore what is the explanation of the Arab uprising they call it the Arab Spring in which we have had the events of Tunisia and the departure of the president uh, Zainuddin bin Ali with that uprising popular uprising and then what's his name now we've forgotten it eh? the Egyptian one <laughs> Hosni Mubarak in the popular Egyptian uprising and now we see uprisings taking place in other parts of the Arab world as well what is going on what is the explanation our perspective is to look at the subject from the Quran and from the Ahadith of Prophet Muhammad and when we do that the first thing that we recognize is we're, de we're dealing with the subject of Akhirul Zaman or Islamic eschatology maybe tomorrow the scholars of Islam are going to wake up and turn to this subject but as of today nothing has succeeded so far they don't want to touch the subject why? I thought perhaps it's because of methodology methodology an incapacity of turning to the Quran to locate that explanation because of defective methodology and so now let us spend a few moments on methodology because we are growing old 
And tomorrow is our younger ones, the students who are going to take 